Starting a limited liability company in Idaho involves a series of steps designed to protect your personal assets and establish a clear structure for your business, combining the flexibility of a partnership with the liability protection of a corporation. In this video, I'll walk you through the detailed understanding of each step involved. And by the way, if you would like to get help starting your own LLC in Idaho, make sure to use my link down in the description of this video and sign up to Northwest Registered Agents. They are my associates in helping you start your own LLC in every state of the United States of America. It doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps us support the channel. Let's get started with the video. When you decide to start an LLC in Idaho, the first fun part is picking a name. You can be as creative or as straightforward as you like. Some folks use their own names. Others think of something that describes what they do, like making potato bread and calling it potato toast. Idaho has a few rules for naming. Your name has to say it's an LLC. It can be too similar to other businesses and it shouldn't sound like it's a government agency or a licensed professional service unless you actually are one. Think of a name that's easy for people to remember and tells them what you do. You can check online to see if your name is already taken. If you're not ready to start right away but love the name you thought of, you can pay a little fee to keep it just for you for, your, for four months. This is like putting a hold on a good seat before the game starts. Making sure your business name is clear, catchy, and follows the rules is a great first step in setting up your LLC. All right, the next step is to pick a registered agent for your LLC. This person or company is like your business's buddy who makes sure you don't miss any important mail or legal papers. They need to live in Idaho or be allowed to do business there. You might think about asking a friend or using a professional service, especially if you don't want to deal with the paperwork. These services remind you about important stuff like when to file your yearly reports so your business stays in good shape. Some people choose their lawyer for this role because if there's a problem, the lawyer is already in the loop and can get help right away. This choice is about making sure someone responsible is always there to catch important documents for your LLC. It's like having a reliable friend who keeps an eye on your mailbox while you're focused on running your business. Remember, this isn't just about getting mail. It's about protecting your business and making sure it follows state laws. All right, filing the certificate of organization is like telling the state, hey, here we are and we are ready to do business. This document is a big deal because it makes your LLC official. You'll need to provide some basic info about your LLC, like its name, where it's located, and who's going to get legal papers, your registered agent, and who's in charge. You can fill out this form online, which is quicker and cheaper, or send it through the mail if you prefer. It takes about a week or two for the state to say, okay, everything looks good unless you pay extra for faster service. Remember, Doing this online not only saves you money, but also gets your business started quicker. This step is crucial because without it, you're not officially a business in the eyes of Idaho. It's like state's way of giving you a thumbs up to start your business journey. Another step is creating your LLC operating agreements. Even though Idaho doesn't make you have one, it's a really smart idea to make one. This document is like the rule book for your LLC, explaining how you'll make decisions, share profits, and handle tough situations. Think of it as a plan for how everyone involved with the LLC will play nicely together. It helps prevent arguments because everyone agreed to the rules when things were calm and friendly. Without one, you're stuck with generic state laws if you ever disagree, which might not work well for your business. It's also a way to show banks and other serious people that you've got your act together, making your LLC look professional. You can include all sorts of things in your agreement, like who gets to make big decisions, how you'll handle someone wanting out, and how you'll split the money. Some folks even plan for what to do if the business needs to close down. Adding a bit about solving disagreements outside of a court can save you a lot of headaches. It's like agreeing on the rules of a game before you start playing. All right, next, getting an EIN or employer identification number from the IRS is like getting a special ID for your business. It's not just a number. It's a key that unlocks many doors for your LLC. This nine digit number is important for lots of reasons. For starters, if you plan to hire employees, you'll need an EIN to do so legally. It's also necessary for opening a business bank account, which is crucial for keeping your business and personal finances separate. This separation helps protect your personal assets and keeps your business dealings professional. Applying for an EIN is a straightforward process that you can complete online directly on the IRS website website and it doesn't cost a thing. Once you have it, you can more easily manage taxes, apply for business loans and establish credit with suppliers. Even for single member LLCs, an EIN elevates your business's credibility and helps maintain your privacy by not using your social security number for business
business transactions. Overall, getting an EIN is a smart move for any new business owner, streamlining many future processes and setting a professional foundation for your LLC. Starting an LLC in Idaho has its ups and downs, just like when you're deciding whether to buy something you really want but have to think about if it's worth it. Let's talk about what makes it a good idea and what doesn't in simple terms. On the bright side, getting your LLC going in Idaho is pretty easy on your wallet. The state doesn't ask for a lot of money just for the right to run your business there, thanks to no minimum franchise tax and low fees for setting things up. That's a big plus if you're trying to start your business without spending a ton of money. Also, Idaho lets your LLC make money without the business itself being taxed on it. Instead, any money the business makes gets reported on your personal taxes, which can save you from paying taxes twice on the same earnings. Another nice thing is Idaho respects your privacy. When you set up your LLC, you don't have to tell the whole world who owns or runs it, keeping your business details just between you and the state. However, it's not all smooth sailing. Even though you might save on some taxes, you'll end up paying for Medicare and Social Security out of your profits. This means that the money you take home from your LLC might get a bit trimmed down because because you have to cover these extra taxes. Another hiccup is that Idaho isn't the most bustling place in terms of population. This means there might not be as many opportunities to meet other business folks, find customers, or get involved in local business health programs. Growing your business could be a bit tougher without a big pool of people and resources to dive into. In a nutshell, starting an LLC in Idaho is kind to your starting budget and offers tax benefits plus privacy, but you'll need to be ready to pay extra taxes on what you earn and possibly work harder to connect and grow your business due to your state's smaller population. Keeping your LLC compliant means making sure your business always follows the rules set by the government. This is crucial for avoiding fines and ensuring your business can keep running smoothly. One of the first steps is to obtain any specific licenses or permits your type of business requires. These can vary widely depending on what your business does and where it's located. Regularly filing an annual report with your states is another important task. This report updates the states on your business's status and keeps your LLC in good standing. Taxes are not a big area where compliance matters. You'll need to understand and meet all federal, state, and possibly local taxes obligations. Since tax laws can be complex, consulting with a tax professional is a good idea to avoid mistakes. Additionally, staying informed about changes in laws that affect your LLC is essential for ongoing compliance. By taking these steps, you not only keep your business legal, but also build a strong reputation with customers, suppliers, and financial institutions. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to starting your very own LLC in Idaho. Taking each of these steps seriously and giving them the attention they need can make the process of starting an LLC in Idaho feel less overwhelming. By breaking it down into manageable parts, you can focus on what's important, growing your business and making it successful. And don't forget that if you would like to get help starting your very own LLC in Idaho, you can use my affiliate link down in the description of this video and sign up with Northwest Registered Agents. They're professionals, they know what they're doing, and they'll be able to help you. Doesn't cost you anything extra, but helps us support the channel. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time.